Let me just, for the sake of explanation, briefly explain to everyone about the court of heaven and why Jesus put prayer in three dimensions in the book of Luke. He puts it as approaching God as Father. He puts it as approaching God as a friend. But then he puts it in Luke 18 as approaching God as a judge. You know that if you read my other book, Beginning the Courts of Heaven. But rather than adding to that book, I wanted to expand on this here. And that is the judicial system of heaven, where we step before God and deal with legal issues in the spirit that would stop us from getting what God has for us. I mean, when Jesus died on the cross, he made provision for anything and everything we have need of. Second Peter chapter 1 says, All things that pertain to life and godliness have already been given to us. So why don't we have it? Because sometimes there's something legal in the spirit realm that's resisting us. For instance, when Jesus died on the cross, that was the greatest legal transaction in history. That's what the cross is. It was a legal transaction. He became sin for us that we might become the righteousness of God. He took sickness that we might be healed. And he actually took poverty so we could be rich and many other things. And so it was a legal transaction that when we, by faith in our hearts, come into that with him, we get the benefits of everything he did for us. But the enemy comes through different scenarios to build legal cases against us that do not allow us to get the full benefit of everything. Jesus died for us. So again, we have to learn how to approach God, not just as Father, as important as it is, not just as our friend, but also as the judge that is in that place in the spirit realm. We can get everything legally in place so that we can get the full benefit of everything Jesus died for us to have. I was in prayer, and I got my Bible, and it says that the fear of the Lord was upon them all, and many signs and wonders were done through the hands of the apostles. And the Lord said to me, I am upgrading you into apostolic signs and wonders. I am upgrading you into those dimensions. See, I believe we are in a season of an upgrade. I believe that God is wanting to upgrade you, like us, into all sorts of dimensions. The new dimension that God sees. He wants to get us unstuck out of where we have been and move us into the fullness of everything He died for us to have. Now, here's the problem. One of the reasons, and maybe even the main reason we're stuck, watch this, is that there are some legal rights working against us. Because here's what many people experience. It's like they got a bungee cord on their back. And it's like they're trying to move forward, and all the time they're trying to pull forward, it feels like something's pulling them back. Do you know what I'm talking about? It seems like you're really trying with all sorts of effort to get into the fold as to what God has for you. But there's something pulling you back. I want you to know that God wants to cut the bungee cord. He wants to. He wants to break that legal thing that the enemy is using that's trying to keep you out of the fullness of destiny that Jesus has for you. 